Here's something we don't see much on this platform, a happy, loving mother-daughter duo. Take a look. How you doing today, Ma? I'm doing great. This is her first time in years of overcoming her fears. How does it feel? It feels wonderful. <laughs> I love Ziplani, honey. Yeah. <laughs> well, but guess what? Wanda and her daughter Tiffany are here today, and that can only mean one thing. That relationship that you just saw, that's not the real deal because their relationship is on the rocks in a big, big way. Take a look. Let me tell you something. I want nothing else to do with you. I want you to see my face, and I don't have time to be chasing after a woman that is jealous of her own daughter. As you can see, there's some bad blood between these two ladies. You're tearing your family apart. You just liar, 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 liar. You have driven me crazy for years. I'm tired of it. I promise you, when I say I am done, I'm done. Tiffany is a bitch. Tiffany says she's over her mother, Wanda, and here's why. My mother is the poster child of maternal envy. My daughter, Tiffany, is trying to discredit me. Around 2011, I started modeling. At my great-grandmother's funeral, she was taking my pictures and telling people that I was a prostitute. I never told her she was a prostitute. Her brother told me that she had different men coming in her beer room. I said it was a prostitution way. My mother absolutely loves being the center of attention. My mother wore white on my wedding day. I would never try to upstage my own daughter at her wedding. I just want to be a mother and come in looking presentable. During our wedding, my mother decided to get up in the middle of the ceremony and start to sing. Tiffany had asked me to sing, and I got the Holy Spirit. It wasn't for attention. She drops the mic and she starts shouting, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank you, thank you, oh. And I had a little moment there. That was it. My mother's also a thief. While I was deployed in the Middle East, I had given my mother a power of attorney to take care of my affairs. While I had the power of attorney, I ran to the bank. Every time I would take money out, I let Tiffany know when she called from Dubai. June 19th, she took $800, $500. June 24th, on July 2nd, she took out $400. I wasn't gonna take a whole lot of money, but I counted it up, it was 2,000. I confronted my mother and she completely denies taking money from my account. I hate to call her a liar, but that is a lie. Well, there's like two different pictures there from what we saw in the beginning and what we saw for the rest of the way. Yes, sir. This isn't a happy relationship. Not at all. It's not a healthy relationship. Not at all. It's not a tranquil relationship. No. So what is it? Toxic. Very toxic. toxic relationship, indeed. Since when? I mean, you've you've been in this situation your whole life. Your first remembrances are how far back? What's the first remembrance you have as a child? The first memory? My first memory how old was were you? Uh, I was around as a child. I want I say about twelve or thirteen at okay. the time. You don't remember anything before twelve? The time, nothing else before that. Really? Yeah. And what what do you remember then? I recall my mother at the time um, is when I left. My, my dad and I were together, and my mother had left because she had an affair. And uh, she had left the family and whatnot. Uh, she came back. My father let her back in. Um, there was some resentment on her end, my behalf, because- Towards you? Yes, towards me. Why do you think that is? Because I was always the alibi. So my mother would always take me with her. So I've seen a lot of things that a lot of children shouldn't have She seen. would take you with her to go meet up with her? Yes. She would take you as cover? Yes. And you knew what was going on? Absolutely.